man who lives on this earth always look outside and he gets at times admired with the world and moves his heart to achieve the world everyone wants to break their record the record of the previous one everyone wants to show how great they are the outside world attracts and in the outside world we begin to build up ourselves many are busy in building up their career some are busy in building up their ministry but very few come to realize the root and the basis we need to build up our communion with god our intimacy with god many are busy to show to the world that i can do something and very few are busy in building up their character move from within and transform the world don't get stuck up with the external world and try to enter in you cannot many have tried be busy with so much attention and running to that god to give you peace you will never get it go to god meditate on god know him try to understand him and begin to love him you can be able to live outside world life begins from god and with the god and you move powerfully to the extent we have deeper relationship and communion with him life moves from within life is not you come from outside to inside but life is from inside to outside not that you are caught up with various desires to build up something to achieve something to show that you can do something that is not life for which you and i are called there are many people who have broken our records many people are better preachers many people have won many souls than us and they all have achieved because they are not the achievers they are the communicators they have become communicators because they have learned to be in communion life begins from within to the extent i move into him to the extent i begin to see myself through him to the extent i hear the inner voice i can overcome the outside noise with the outside noise i can't hear the inner voice only through inner voice i can still the outside noises it's a unique call you are not called to perform you are not called to achieve you are not build up your legacy you are called to relate with the god you are called to know your god as john chapter 17 verse 3 says knowing your god and knowing the son who he has son sent is eternal life this is the good news the life is the life is given to us to know our god to love him and to become a men and women of love and give that love and light of god to this broken dark world all that i have the best i have i want to give it to my people love doesn't keep anything in itself love always shares love always rejoices so the master says i have killed the best 
and I want to share the best of mine with my friends. So he tells the servants, please go and call A, B, C. But the servants return and say, the people of in the world, they are busy with their activities. They don't want to come to you. They don't realize life emerges, springs from within. The spring always from comes from within. Deep calls to deep. But through shallow waters, they try to get stuck up with the waves so they don't want to go inside. They look at the waves and nobody wants to venture to go deep into the stillness. It's a tragedy. You have chosen a wrong people. One fellow says, I have bought the field. That stupid fellow doesn't realize it is you who gave him this field. He thinks he can achieve many things. He can bring out some fruits or crops. He can make money out of that. But he never realizes life is to know you, to love you, to have your light and give to this dark world. He never realizes he is a missionary. He thinks he is an achiever. He thinks he has to build up something. He thinks he has to show himself. Another man bought bulls and he wants to train it seems. He doesn't realize that you have given him the wisdom to train. He wants the bull and wants to train the bull and wants to do something out of that bull. But he doesn't realize the one who gave all that. Another fellow is busy with his flesh. He wants to come to the Lord, but every time busy with his pleasures of his body. His mind is full of lust, thinking about, I don't have this, I don't have that. I want this. Caught up with the lack and they don't find the fullness. They speak about problems. They don't know they have the solution within. They talk about one another. They don't know that they have ministry, mission and ministry to build up one another. At the cost of Becoming victim to the noises, they never reach the voice of God. 